morning, a Valley veteran is getting ready to try and break some world records. The yeah. story so inspiring. A lot of records. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in, in this week's Veterans Voice, we're going to introduce you now to the man who wants to let everyone know that if you are struggling, there is hope out there. When Caleb Klein goes for a ride on his recumbent trike, he really goes for a ride. It's worth doing, it's worth overdoing in my opinion. Right now, he is looking to become a 24-hour world record holder. My goal is to cross 500 miles, and in doing that, that's actually 11 world records. It's an extraordinary goal, and when you see this x-ray of his spine, you realize this is no ordinary man. The Las Vegas native and West Point graduate was injured during a training mission to go to Afghanistan. Just got to a point where I, I quite literally couldn't give my newborn daughter a bath, change diapers. It, it became a quality of life issue. So not only am I dealing with some herniation and degenerations in my lower back, I also have scoliosis. Whether that was caused by the incident, I, I don't know if that's exactly the case. Klein tried pushing past his back pain. My body just decided that that, that was enough. So I unfortunately was medically discharged September of 2019. At that point, he was introduced to a recumbent trike by the veterans organization Forgotten and Not Gone. Riding the trike is much easier for his back, and it also gave Klein a new start after the Army. For the first time, I finally felt like I had found my freedom and found something that I could actually do for myself that I could actually control. And so at the end of this month in Henderson, he will attempt to set a 500 mile record on a near seven long loop along Galleria Drive. I will ride that approximately 70 to 75 times over the course of 24 hours. And to be clear, this is a record for all recumbent trike riders, not the disabled. And instead of focusing on disability, which you know, you, I am 100% total and permanently disabled through the VA, but instead of focusing on the dis part, I like to focus on the ability. The Army taught me how to be loud and proud, and so I want to be a voice for other veterans and just other people that are going through a struggle. Uh, he went through a struggle quite clearly, and he's sort of coming out the other side again. He's going for this record at the end of this month. But Klein says really his big goal, his ultimate goal here, is to be the first person to ever ride across the U.S. in a recumbent trike, uh, something that he is hoping to do in just about the three years from now. And I said this before, if anyone can do it, it's definitely him. Yeah, he keeps himself so in, in great shape. He's mm -hmm. very, very mo motivated. Uh, also, by the way, uh, last week uh, we told you about this story, about this, this shadow box here. It belonged to uh, Will Bouchelle. He's a Navy SEAL who passed away in a car crash here in Las Vegas in 2014. Now, fast forward to this past March, another veteran, Fernando Gonzalez, found the shadow box at a swap meet in California. He bought it. The shadow box that had Bouchelle uniform inside. Well, Gonzalez got in contact with the family and that shadow box we're happy to report has finally made it to Michelle's parents uh, where it belongs there. They live in Florida. They're internally grateful for it. They are so, so happy. They left us phone calls, emails saying thank you so much for the story and also the reconnection. So it's really great. Well, good morning, Las Vegas. Time now, 622.